some optimism. It is the start of the new year, and the city of San Marcos has many initiatives on the horizon. Joining us to discuss what residents can expect in 2021 is San Marcos Mayor Rebecca Jones. Good morning, Mayor Jones. Happy New Year. How are you feeling this morning? Well, I'm feeling hopeful and optimistic myself. Um, thank you for having me, Liz, and Happy New Year to everyone out there. Uh, 2021 is uh, going to be, I think, a better year. We're going to work on unity, rebuilding, progress, and also hope. Uh, that's something we definitely can't lose uh, sight of. So um, you may have seen or recall that uh, we have our Kaiser Permanente Hospital that just broke ground last month. Uh, December, it seems like an eternity ago, but that's under construction. So you'll see a lot of movement of dirt and uh, things going on over there in uh, North City uh, with the progress of the hospital, uh, some housing. Uh, we also have our San Marcos Creek infrastructure project that is really moving and uh, changing the whole scenery over there, which uh, when it rains, we're so we're going to be so excited that we will no longer uh, have half of the city disconnected from the other half. Uh, then we also have the Discovery Road uh, extension that will be from Craven Road all the way to Twin Oaks Valley Road. Uh, we have the Area of the Arts, which is about nine acres over on Grand Avenue. You can see that from the uh, freeway, 78. Uh, that will be full of um, makers, uh, arts, crafts, brewers, distillers with an interactive park right smack dab in the middle of that. So that'll be a great uh, addition to our city. And then also Carl Strauss is going to be moving forward uh, with their restaurant brewery on Las Posas right there next to our residence in a lot of exciting things. And. You know, one of the things that I also talk about is our low crime rate here in San Marcos. Mm -hmm. One of the things that's happening right now will be our Respect Project, which is extremely um, is successful. That's our early gang intervention program. That will be, uh, they, they're they going to open a new home uh, right here in San Marcos and uh, moving it to a more permanent facility, which will be great um, to have an actual uh, home for them. So a lot of stuff going on in our city. A uh, very... Um, uh, exciting to see all of this movement but also again you know bringing us back to what i had originally said and that is our unity and progress and a lot of things happening here in our city yeah this is this is so great i mean this says a lot uh, about a municipality when there are so many initiatives and so many positive and developments i mean what does that say about san marcos that people are gravitating to your city mayor i mean the fact that Number yeah. one, you, you, the, the first thing you mentioned was this hospital, the, the Kaiser Hospital. Um, I, I mean, we're talking about more, um, more rooms. We're talking about new jobs. We're looking at some promotional video here. This is a 206 bed hospital, correct? It is, and it will bring about 500 jobs, uh, just permanent jobs but also 500 construction jobs in the interim. So it's really great for our city. Uh, you know, and we want we want the 180,000 people in North County to have a place to go and not have to drive all the way down to Zion or Kearney Mesa. So it'll be a tremendous support for uh, North County health-wise. Uh, but I think, I think just uh, all of what's happening, I think is just really kind of lends back to what we talk about here in San Marcos. And that is that the quality of life is great. Uh, we have a lot of things going on. I was out uh, hitting the trail, and I will be after this also. Uh, we have about 72 miles of trails mm -hmm. here in San Marcos to keep the people act out and active. So many parks. Uh, I think we have 38 parks. Uh, you know, a lot of things happening, but we're also centrally located in uh, North County in San Diego uh, North, the upside of San Diego. So a lot, uh, a lot to be thankful and, and proud about. Uh, but truly, I, I would just, you know, whenever I speak to our residents, they just love living here so much because there are so many things to do. And we're just really working on all of the things that I mentioned earlier, really about uh, adding to our quality of life. 
Yeah, you've been a strong proponent in that. Um, and through the pandemic, you've, uh, if I can say, kind of been a voice of, you know, a calm and, and putting things into perspective. You've been uh, encouraged people to get outside and walk the trails uh, with their loved ones, their, you know, with their immediate families. Um, so that's great. We know you guys have that to offer. And I know that you are uh, hoping to bounce back from this, the COVID-19 with all of these initiatives. And, and also, I wanted to ask you, because we've also talked to you about how you have really tried to be in the forefront in helping and give these small businesses a voice and help them survive. Come Monday, there is another opportunity to, for businesses to reach out for some financial help, right? Yes. Yeah, so if you go to our COVID-19 page, we have all of the information right there. It's very easy to find. Uh, you just click on that and it talks all about the uh, state program that is out there for small businesses to get these uh, grants. And, you know, it's really important also for us to remain calm, as you had mentioned a little bit earlier. Um, you know, we, we've talked about it a lot. We've, we've seen that the businesses that have been shut down are not uh, spreading the infection. We do need to make sure that we follow our protocols, make sure you're uh, socially distancing, make sure you're wearing your facial coverings. And if you're sick, please stay home, don't go out. You know if you're not feeling well. Uh, we don't want to. We don't want to keep perpetuating the spread of the infection. But you know, again, um, it's all about helping our businesses, uh, making sure that we are uh, doing everything that we can for them, and we will continue to be as um, flexible and innovative as we have been in the past moving forward and making sure that we are coming up with new ideas for our businesses to help them thrive. Um, but folks, we really need to get out to our communities if you're uh, safe and healthy about it. Make sure that you're uh, supporting your local businesses because they definitely need us. These are our neighbors and our uh, friends that are employed, our family members by them. And so we need to make sure that we uh, continue doing that in a safe manner, of course, but also, you know, being innovative. Mm -hmm. And I'm really happy to see the state is uh, moving up on some of these initiatives, too, to get some money out to the to the small businesses. Wow. Well, new and exciting things on the horizon. Once again, Mayor Rebecca Jones, great to have you on. And I want to talk to you some more uh, in a couple of days, maybe about the new respect project facility that is yes. opening up in San Marcos. This is a big stinking deal. It's to has to do with helping early gang. It's like an early gang intervention program. Uh, not COVID yeah. related, but it's nonetheless a great facility. We need to have this conversation with you. So uh, we'll get little Tommy to help us uh, try to schedule you back on. Wonderful. Okay. I look forward to it. Thank you, Liz. Sounds good. Have a great day. You too.